Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be doing, I'm going to try and keep it quick, but we're going to be doing a comparison guide between the Super Saiyan Goku Angel, Super Saiyan Vegeta Angel, and the Intelligence counterpart, Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Vegeta. Now, these are the, this is going to be the third year, uh, the third year cards that are going to be available, or should be available. It is on DBZ that space on their scheduled releases, as long as, as well as all of the other units, the new units that were on the banner on JP side. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a side-by-side uh, -side comparison because I've gotten questions about what banner I'm going to go on. I've seen some people ask what banners they should go on, and uh, what units are the better units. So, um, there's a lot to be taken into consideration when it comes to that question. Um, and in terms of who you should pull on or who you should try to go for. So I want to try to break down all the facts for you so you can make your own decision. And if you guys aren't aware, my personal thing, I am going for the physical Gogeta. That's my goal. That's what I'm going to go on. But I'm going to explain to you why in a little bit. So first things first, Fused Fighting Force, Super Saiyan Goku Angel, Super Saiyan Vegeta Angel. They're, they are leader ability, fusion category key plus 3, HP attack and defense, or yeah, HP and attack plus 170%, and defense plus 130, or physical type key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%. Very, very good, especially for the fusion category. Now, keep that in mind, fusion category, all right? You have Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, and you have the Super Saiyan Gotenks on this team that fuse just in themselves. So you have that going for you. Plus, you also have the Majin Buu Saga physical... Well, actually, that's not really Fusion character. That's Pitaro, so that doesn't count. But he's available there. So he he is actually there, so that way he can link with other units. So, and he's pretty OP himself. Um, Super Attack, Kamehameha, and Big Bang Attack, 12 to 17 key. And then 18 key is Kamehameha and Final Flash. Colossal damage to the enemy and raise attack for one turn. Mega Colossal damage to the enemy. Uh, by the way, both of these units over here... Um, once you get to the super attacks, everything's the same. And not maybe not the, the title, uh, but everything else is the same. Like uh, the link skills, the, the passive skill, and the super attacks, they're all they're all the same. Um, passive skill, invincible duo, attack and defense plus 120% at the start of the turn. Key plus two in addition per rainbow key orb obtained. And fuse when conditions are met. Same thing for the other guy. Link skills are Kamehameha, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Experienced Fighters, Prepared for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. All these guys, very good link skills difference when it comes to categories the gogito guys or the physical one only is part of the fusion category while the intelligence one is also part of the majin buu saga that, that's actually kind of important because uh majin buu saga is still a pretty valid um category you know and if you go over here and look uh in terms of intelligence there's not that many intelligence units that are really good uh, like that are really good that are heroes so, like, this guy would be very good to fit into place, and he kind of fills the gap for the lack of extremely good units. I mean, you have this Gohan over here, but he's not that, he's not fantastic. And this guy still hasn't gotten an Extreme Z Awakening, so we don't even know what's going on with him. Um, and these two guys are, like, nuker passives, and they're Supreme Damage, so they're, like, they're, like, low A tier, I would, well, actually, yeah, I think they would be even lower, maybe even B tier. But again, that's, that's a topic for a different discussion. Um, anyway, these two, it's really, this guy's gonna be filling the gap for Intelligence on that, on that, uh, Majin Buu category. So, um, anyway, in terms of stats, the physical one trumps the intelligence one when it comes to raw stats. Um, so, like you can see over here, in terms of attack damage anyway, 15,700 attack, this guy only has 13,400 attack. So, in terms of that, that he gets the win. Um, in terms of HP, he has lower HP at 16,000 versus 19,000. And defense, the intelligence one has 10,000, um, what was it, 10,900, and the physical only has 9,800. So, but for raw out, out attack damage, the the actual physical unit does out damage him. So, because these two are literally the same exact unit before, before, now note that, before they actually transform or fuse, the physical one does more damage. Now, this is where people start freaking out in terms of who does more damage when they transform. Let's talk about their few that they're transformed. Fusion Dance activates when HP is 50% or below, starting from the sixth turn of the start of the battle. So that's a pain in the ass, because you have to wait for six turns to fully pass before you can do it, and you have to have HP below 50%. Which kind of makes sense, because after six turns, your your HP is probably going to be below that. So think about the Ultra Instinct mechanic, but you have to wait six turns before that kicks in. Uh, Goku and Vegeta gain key plus three for every Rainbow Key Orb obtained. Maximum Super Attack level 20, blah blah blah. Uh, 12 and 24 key is 150 and 200 respected. So when these guys finally fuse, this is where things get a little bit crazy, right? Um, and the same thing actually takes place for the uh, intelligence one. Everything is literally the same um, until they fuse. So their fused is going to be their leader ability stay the same. Their um, 
their passives are a little bit different now on the Mega Colossal. He, the Gogeta lowers attack and defense, so he debuffs, while the, the Vegito will buff your allies by 30% for one turn. Now, you can take that for what it is. I like both of them. Debuffing the enemy makes you last longer in the match, but increasing the attack um, of your allies will definitely help the, you increase just, like, uh, the damage output that you do. Passive skill. And, again, now this is where what sets them apart. Fully recover HP once. They both, you, they both will bring up the HP. But the Vegito counters with tremendous power upon receiving normal attacks, right? He does not. He's just effective against all types. Now, in terms of damage output... If he, if the uh, Vegito is getting attacked, like they typically do, like the agility one or the physical one, when he's getting attacked and he starts doing those counters, his damage output is going to go supersede that of Gogeta's. All right. Um, tag and defense was 150% of the start of the turn. Key plus three per rainbow key orb obtained. Tag and defense was, yeah, so th that's all the same. The only difference between them that really makes the, attack, the damage output different is that counter ability. If Vegito didn't counter, then they would kind of be right next to each other. But that's why... That everyone says that the Vegito is better, but just this is why I, I personally would go for him. I don't mind. I wouldn't mind having him. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to say he's a bad unit. The thing is, getting to the point where these guys this this passive activates for them to fuse. It takes very long to for that to happen, and you need to wait for it to actually. You know, you need to wait for your units uh, or for your health to actually drop down at that time. You need to you know all the counting and everything. Um, it does happen, but it usually doesn't happen unless you're doing a very long-winded Dokkan event. Um, I personally have other reasons behind it, behind me going for the physical Gogeta, um, or the Goku and Vegeta over here. Um, but that's that's my own thing, we're going to talk about that in a minute. So if you're just looking for the raw data output, the, the Vegito the, the Vegito over here, he will do more damage output on, in his transform state. Um, before they transform, the Goku and Vegeta physical one will do more damage output just because the, everything is literally the same except they're part of the max stats. They have higher, uh, ma uh, well, higher damage output because of the higher attack stat. Um, and I think well, oh, the, 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 the Vegito actually is part of another category. So the, take that for, for what you will. Um, it does make it seem like the, the Vegito is a little bit higher of a pick. But again, base it off of who you like um, and, well, obviously luck and um, who you already have. Now, personally, these are going to be the banners, right? The banners, uh, this is from the JP side. This should be the banners. I don't want to say this is. This is. This should be the banners. Because this is what was available on the JP side of Dokkan Battle. Now, the physical banner has Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Well, okay, they have the four cards. And these are these four cards, these first four, are on both banners. So these are just the new units that are coming out. The base form Goku and Vegeta when they fought the first time. And the Majin Vegeta versus Super Saiyan 2 Goku for when they fought during the Majin Buu Saga category. All the units after that are new. Or not new, are old. So, you have to take a look and see which ones you want. Obviously, each banner has their own respective one, the, 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 the Intelligence Goku and Vegeta, the Physical Goku and Vegeta, the, the Gogeta version. The, the one that I'm going for, you see, it has Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta on it, it has a Strength Janemba on it, has Intelligence Gogeta on it, has Strength Gogeta and Intelligence Janemba, um, and the AGL Janemba. Now, me personally, I want another dupe of the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I also would like another dupe of the Janemba, because I think I only have one dupe, I would definitely want to open up the top left path. I do not have Intelligence Gogeta, so keep that in mind. I don't have him. I have all the other 120 leads, and that's why I'm really going on this banner. Not, not just for him specifically, but because Intelligence Gogeta, and they also have this physical one, and these two guys I really would like some dupes of. Now, in terms of this banner, um, I personally prefer the Agility Vegito myself compared to this guy over here. Uh, that's just, again, my personal opinion. That's my preference, because the uh, Agility one does an 80% damage reduction. Now, he doesn't. He does 50% damage reduction. While he does do more damage output after he's getting attacked, he does attack plus 100% after getting attacked for 10 turns. He definitely does more damage output, but I still prefer the agility one. I'm not saying I don't run him. I do run him on some teams, and he's he is the Patar category leader, or Majin Buu category leader. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, he is... Let's see. Translate over to English. If you want to translate, Vigor, key plus two for category. It doesn't tell you the category, but God damn it. Uh, yeah, he is the Majin Buu category leader. So, um, Kid Buu, mine's 100%, this Physical Vegito, 100%, this Agility Vegito is 100%, my Intelligence Buu Han is 100%, uh, I'm not doing this to gloat, I'm just trying to tell you, this is how I made my decision. Um, that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, the only unit on this banner that I would actually want that is not going to be available on this banner, or that I haven't already maxed out, is going to be this Intelligence Goku and Vegeta. I mean, don't get me wrong, 
the the Vegito, the physical Vegito, I would not mind hitting dupes with him, so that way I can feed it into mine. But again, like I said, I prefer the agility one. So that's how I'm making my decision. I want dupes of these guys, and I don't even have an intelligence Gogeta. So I'm putting my time and banner and my money into this banner. Um, again, I'm not going to go ham like I like I used to do in the past. I'm going to buy the one sales pack for the guaranteed 120 because I want to summon on this banner. And if I don't get the intelligence Gogeta, I'm just going to pick him up from the pack that I bought. If I do get him, uh, I might pick another 120 liter like a Korra or something like that. We'll have to wait and see and see what I pull. Um, but yeah, I mean, again, make your decision. If you're looking for the most optimal way to do it, look at the units you already have, which ones you actually like to run. Like, it doesn't matter if it's more efficient or more effective to run the physical one for, like, it is more effective to run the physical one. I still like it, you know? So I'm basing it off of what I like. If you're looking at the most efficient, you probably don't want to go with the intelligence one, but base it off of what you already have. If you already have all these, like, the, from after here, if you have all these units and you're and you're only missing one from this banner, maybe it's a, maybe it's smarter to go on this banner. If you want to max out and get, like, one of these guys all fully maxed out, rainbowed and everything, maybe it's worth going on this banner. You know, base it off of that. Don't just sit there and say, oh, he has more damage output. I want him. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not bad if you do that, but don't just be, don't don't just get it just because he he has the numbers. Um, but yeah, that's just my opinion, guys. Anyway, I want to help you out make that decision. Um, I, I think that the global is going to have the same exact version as the JP. If any of the lineup changes, I'll, I may change my opinion on which one I'm going to summon on, but I will definitely keep you posted. And if that happens, I'll definitely do a video on that. But anyway, guys, I hope that was helpful and informative to you. Uh, let me know what you guys are going for. Let me know which ones, which well, which banner you're going to probably primarily focus on, um, and which one, which unit between these two do you think? Well, I don't want to say it's better because I want to get the whole power scaling guys, but between the two, which one is your favorite and why? Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you later. Peace.